okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Remember this video. It's the body camera footage of a police officer who mistook a boy with autism for a drug user, made national news, and was an embarrassment for Buckeye police who continue to defend that officer. Hey, ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscabing broke the story back in 2017. Now, more than five years later, that boy's lawsuit will finally go to trial next week. Here's Dave with what to expect. This trial is expected to last about a week, and it'll be in federal court, so no cameras are allowed. Now, we got the pretrial order, and it lists the arguments both sides will make. But before we get to all that, let's take a look at how this all began. When the police officer pulled up to a neighborhood park, things quickly got out of control. What's going on? Me? Yeah, what are you doing? Good. What are you doing? I'm skimming. What? I can do this. What is that? Stop That's... walking away from me. It's a stream. Okay, so why are you bouncing around all the way? You have any ID on you? No. Don't go anywhere. All right, just relax. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah! 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 Stay down. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah! I'm okay. The officer was David Grossman. The boy, Connor Leibel, 14 at the time. Connor has autism. He was in the park across the street from the place where his sister was being dropped off for a music lesson by a caregiver. Who's this? Diane. He's fighting with me. What's going on? Do you know him? Okay. You can't see it on the body camera, but Grossman and Connor fell into a tree, leading to these scrapes and this injured ankle. Are you playing? Relax. Okay. Yeah. You don't have nothing on you, right? No. Okay. He's only 14 years old. The trial will come down to two claims. Connor's lawyer arguing that this was excessive force and a violation of his rights under the Americans with Disabilities Act. So you, well, you drove by and you saw him skimming and you thought he was on drugs? A, a couple of times, yeah. You don't know anything about autism, huh? And before we tell you the main points of Buckeye's defense, we need to talk more about that string. This is home video of Connor, quote, stimming with a string. Stimming is a coping mechanism, basically a repetitive movement that calms people with autism. And in their defense, Buckeye says Grossman suspected it was evidence of drug use. Quote, he had reasonable suspicion to initially stop Connor and conduct an investigation into the possible illegal use of an inhalant. And... A string did not cause that suspicion to go away because Officer Grossman knew that items such as strings can be dipped into inhalants, hand sanitizers, or rubbing alcohol and used as part of the process of using illegal inhalants. It's a string. Okay, so why are you bouncing around all the way? Now, back in 2017, Connor's mother told us she couldn't believe an officer could confuse her autistic son as a drug user, especially since Officer Grossman was a, quote, drug recognition expert. We have problems with some kids, you know, smelling uh, inhalants, things like that, almost like gasoline, stuff like that. So I wasn't sure if that's what was going on. Now, David Grossman is no longer an officer. He retired under a disability claim. And again, as for the trial, it's scheduled to begin on February 21st and last about a week. I'm investigator Dave Viscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.